I'm Hava and today we're going to spend some time in the Upper East Side. We're going to start at an art museum, then we're going to go eat somewhere nice that specializes in ramen and cocktails, and finally we're going to do a brownstone photo shoot. Our first stop today is Frick Madison, which is an art museum. It's the temporary home of the Frick Collection, while the historic buildings are undergoing some renovations. At the time of this recording, this museum is open on Thursdays to Sundays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and costs $22 to get in for an adult. Although, if you come on Thursdays between 4 and 6 p.m., it is pay what you wish. If videography is not allowed, I will take whatever shots I can inside this museum for you. I've never been before, but it looks beautiful. What's neat about this museum, it's very cutting edge that they have an app where literally it's so easy to use. You just go to the Wi-Fi, download the app, and then you can type in the number that's next to an art piece and use that to learn all about it. So the signs are pretty simple. They just say the name, the artist, but then you can go learn all about whatever you're interested in. They have audio tours as well, but I wasn't really interested in that. And this was just really a beautiful art museum with a lot of European art, Britain, France, Italy, and Northern Europe. It's honestly kind of an expensive ticket for how small the museum is but at the same time i sort of wonder if this is maybe a limited amount because there were a couple of things closed off for new openings of exhibits and also this is just a temporary place that they're housing the artwork until the for collection historic buildings are back ready to go which i believe is in one year from this recording now we are walking through the upper east side look at this street this is 3rd Ave. I've already crossed Park in Madison because Frick Madison was on Madison Avenue, if you didn't catch that. And oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, look at this. Anyway, we are on our way to a restaurant for a nice meal at a place that I'm excited to show you about. So we'll be there in a couple of minutes. Behind me is NR, which is an upscale restaurant at about East 75th and 1st Avenue that specializes in ramen and cocktails. This restaurant represents the fusion of East and West and past and present. Based on the hours, I would say this is mainly a dinner spot, although on weekends, it's also a lunch spot. They take some reservations, but walk-ins are totally welcome, so let's walk in. Given that the restaurant specializes in ramen and cocktails, of course I'm gonna get a cocktail and ramen. Looking at the cocktail list, my waiter said he really likes the cardamom golden kiwi lassi, but other ones that are popular here that are easy to drink are bee and chamomile and yuzu and sancho. If you're looking for something boozy, you would wanna try the one called smoke, or I believe Mexican firing squad is the other one he said. Can I please have the bee and chamomile? It's so beautiful. Thank you. I mean, look at this. Cheers. Whoa. That is really good. I'm impressed. It's, it's light, it's floral. I know the alcohol is in there. I can tell it's a strong drink, and yet it's easy to drink. So this is a fun cocktail, and I really like this menu because this cocktail menu is so creative, even though they have some classics. 
And of course, I love a good presentation. Can I please have the yuzu and truffle vegetable? Oh, wow, thank you. Beautiful. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna give you a closer look. preparing to eat the most incredible ramen of my life right now. Wow. Those noodles are just chewy yet soft enough. And the flavor. I've never had ramen that tastes like this. It's hard to describe. I mean, they definitely use salt, but it goes beyond just that salty flavor. It's got some sort of depth to it. I'm not sure entirely what it is, but part of that may be because I don't even know what all these vegetables are. What is this? Please comment below if you know. Whatever it is, I like it. I would say it's an artichoke heart, but it doesn't look like one. I'm gonna eat the rest of my meal and I will see you later. Considering how many Upper East Side videos I've made at this point, I owe a little segment to the beautiful architecture here on the Upper East Side. There are, is a lot of different kinds of architecture up here, but I will say the brownstones really stand out to me, so that's what we're gonna focus on here. Right now, we're gonna have ourselves a photo shoot. You ready? side is a very popular spot in New York because it is known for Museum Mile with all the museums and then obviously some great restaurants. It's a really popular spot so if you want more of the Upper East Side you're gonna want to check out the other videos I have on this channel already featuring other cool things to do in the Upper East Side and until then make sure you're subscribed on the channel turn on notifications so you'll know when the next cool video comes out on this channel and follow me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day short form content and with that I can't wait to see you here in New York or at least in the next video. Bye.